PLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle, your music, your plug. Then when Fathom got the juice, live from LA Live broadcast brunch, it is going down. And I'm sitting here with the guys that are doing some great work. Great work. When they told me who they were and what they were doing, my eyes lit up like, oh yeah, bring them over here, bring them over here. Now, I didn't know them directly before they stood right here. But once they said, hey, we're doing a series about DMX, hey, you got to listen. You got to listen. He's a legend. He's one of our greatest artists of all time and still is up there. How you guys doing today? Good. How are you, man? I'm great. Introduce yourselves. DJ Superior, straight out of Yonk, is in the building. Ah. Jonah Levine, shout out, no fun. We're here with the rise of Dark Man X, presented by this guy, DJ Superior. It's a two and a half hour live event, July 11th, 12th, and 13th, where we're showing unreleased material of X from 88 all the way up through his first album release in 98, 99. We got unreleased tracks, unreleased video, stories. It'll be all presented by this guy, DJ Superior. Fire. Telling the story of the rise of someone who we now know as a number one hit artist. Yep, absolutely. Now I got a question for y'all since this is a very unique piece of um, uh, footage that you're putting out, right? We're based in the DMV. Uh, I live in Baltimore to be exact. I spent time in Baltimore. Talk to me, like, is, is this in the documentary? Is, is this, in, do we have any X footage in Baltimore? No, nah, this is way before the deal. When he spent that time out there, I think we had, we had one of the deals already. You know what I'm saying? What I got is from when me and him started, when his other DJ went to jail, and I took the torch and kept it going. So all that other time out in the D, that's when the R had him out there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. So my stuff is with him. It's just me and him. So I never knew what it was. I always heard the rumors about how he spent time out there. And then I would hear it in the music as well. He would bring Baltimore up a lot. So it was just like, all right. Let, let me hopefully one day I'll find out now I'm here. Now, what inspired you guys to put this uh, project together? I think... You know, initially there's this documentary that told the story of the Yonkers hip hop scene. And when Superior and I started working together and I realized that he had all this material, I was like, hey, we could really tell the story of how X became X. Because everyone knows X from 99 on as a fucking dog. But at the end of the day, he was, you know, a lot more than that. He started as just freestyling, making things, writing shit down making records and a lot of those records that he made with superior and superior's house eventually Dang. became those number ones that you're talking about now and we have all of it man that is crazy now superior what are some of your best memories of x there's too many of them but um the early days was the battles we used to have and how i used to prepare for battles a lot of times we would find stuff on people or sleep with their sister. <laughs> Just hey, to do yo. stuff that we could put in lyrics and say, you know, X, when he used to battle people, he used to try to destroy them. You know what I'm saying? So that was the good, that was the good right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I have one memory with X uh, specifically. I was, man, I might have been 12. So I'm originally from New York, Harlem, uh, Humphrey Terry St. Nick. They were shooting a video, so every summer, so I ended up moving to Baltimore when I was younger, but every summer and holiday break, I was going back to New York, right? Mm -hmm. They were shooting a video for How's It Going Was Down. And they was on, they started on 125th Street. My cousin called me and said, yo, DMX shooting a video. Yo, we followed them all day. Like, all the way down to Polo Grounds. and right, Yo, we followed them all day. And then we, we found them on a, black, on a back block. It was like Ham Kiss. We took pictures with them. Yo, my cousin, held the pictures from me for all these years and the crazy thing is i thought x i was almost scared of him right because i always thought like on tv like he's this wild guy so i thought like man we following x around man he gonna cuss us out we kids he was the coolest guy you know what i'm saying it, it was one of them vibes where it's like dang that's crazy that means he liked you yeah you know what i'm saying because if he didn't like you there was time we was in interviews and a woman one time this woman just kept he said, mind your business, lady. I mean, and when he said that in the song, y'all thought he was playing. That came from something. He said really? that before. Yeah, he's, he just knew bad vibes around him how he used to act. But if you was around him at the wrong time, 
then you would see the other X. There's two X's. You know what I'm saying? Me and him fought all the time. But at the end of the day, that's my brother and I love him. And I was there the day, I was there in the beginning and I was there when he left the game. I was in the hospital with him before they pulled the plug the next day. And I whispered in his ear, I got you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to keep his legacy going. No disrespect to anybody else, Def Jam, Lior, the R, everybody who did their part with him, great. This is the building of him. This is Darkman X, the rise. If, if all that didn't happen, all that other stuff would have never happened. That's absolutely true. So, How long did it take y'all to put all this content together? Well, when, I, when he came to see me, <laughs> I got hours and hours, and he know I don't trust people. You know... Uh, if you really want to know how long it took, well, they started filming in 1988, so that long. That being said, the actual editing of the show yeah. and putting together the stories that DJ Spears is going to tell and picking which tracks we want to play and how we want to present it, probably been working on that for about four or five months now. And every show that we do, there's so much content. Every show is going to be different. We got different special guests each night. We might play different songs each night. We could probably do the show 50 times over in different states, and it will never be the same. We got so much. And we really want to be able to get all this stuff out because watching an artist develop is something, it's very different. You know, you see your number one artist, and you're like, yo, this is dope. Like, I love that song. But at the end of the day, how did they become that artist? And that's the story that we're here to tell, and that's the story that DJ Superior lived. Superior, I want to salute you. I want to salute both of you guys for doing this. Thank you. As, as needed, I will be tapped in. Once again, let the people know when and where it will be broadcasting. July 11th, July 12th, and July 13th in Los Angeles at the Latino Theater Co. Get your tickets at latinotheaterco.org slash darkmanx. You can follow us at The Rise of DarkmanX on Instagram. Will it be streaming anywhere? It won't be streaming now. Eventually it might. There's a lot of red tape there. So what we're doing is trying to present the show and make sure people can see what it is. And then eventually we'll be able to put something out. Okay, gotcha. I got you. Because I don't live in L.A., but I want to see this. Hey, if you want to come to the show, yeah, I might have we'll to come get back you out. in. Yeah, I might have to come back out here for yep. that. I might. My girl, her father passed, God rest his soul, but she still loves DMX because of that. You know, so we play lottery numbers. She plays 7021 because of him. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's that deep yeah. on my side. So I salute you, you guys. You're doing a great thing. I'm going to make sure I figure out a way to see this documentary. Yeah. Come out. We'll put both of you on. Come on in. One, one thing I want to say. Thank you for having me. For sure. DTLR Radio. Yep. Got it right. All right. I want to say this to all the artists, though. Don't let nobody tell you, like, say you're making music now and you feel like you're making it for no reason. Don't feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Do the songs, do your songs, put them aside. You know what I'm saying? You never know what can happen later on. X always told me nothing's old until the world hears it. That's how you got to ah. think. You know what I'm saying? Don't never let nobody tell you because we got a lot of deals. We, um, we were turned down a lot of times. One time, Wendy Williams took our record we pressed up and threw it out the window. You know what I'm saying? She took it first. Drove a little, threw it out the window, and we chased our ass down. You know what I'm saying? But um, it is what it is. And you don't believe me? Look at the Rough Rider Chronicles. We said it in there. I said it in there. X said it in there. So I'm just telling you, don't worry about what nobody said, because a lot of times you can have family members that don't believe in you until they see you on TV. Then oh, that's my cousin. That's my third. So X didn't have none of that. He had me, and we made sure we did what we had to do. So big shout out to everybody out there. Like you see, every this is the year of the truth. You heard Cap Williams. Yeah, That's yeah, all I'm going to say. So really, let me ask you something real quick. Have you been getting any support from any of the other old Swiss beats, any of them type? Well, Swiss shouted me out at the last album release saying, this is from DJ Superior or whatever, whatever. So big shout out to him. But nah, as far as everybody else, not really. That's why. That's why. It's That's all whack. good, though. That's why. Listen, man, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, and we're going to get this story out there, man. All Thank right? You. All hey, right. long live the dog, man. Long live the dog. What? Hey. <laughs> Fatty, we got the juice detail on radio. Let's go.